Let's see. Pretty sure... Oh, yeah. We are dealing with people who know what they're doing. All right. So, Rain, who kindly gave me the replay. Thank you very much, Rain. Greetings. They are playing Baco with Abes playing... Or Apes playing as Lucy. Big Z playing... Or Big Z. Because I'm Canadian. Big Z playing as Varish and Inflamed as Paloma. Wow, this is going to be a bad... Well, not a bad matchup, but a hard matchup. Varish and Paloma. It's just all the control. Because Paloma is just other side everything. Get out of there. While Varish is half shield up, half stop you from dealing as much damage, or you take more damage. Or both. Just generally messing with you. And staying out of the way. And countering everything. Especially if they go for the Wuju recast battle right, which is an awesome battle right. And they do! Nice! So yeah, Big Z going for pretty much my favorite battle right, or round one battle right is Varish. It's tricky to do, but when you're dealing with Bako, who's going to be up in your face, Wuju recast. See how that goes. So very quickly, red team focusing much heavily in the center. And yes, indeed, Rain going in there for that. And a nice other side coming out from Inflame. Perfect timing. And now at this point, Red has center. And looks like Inflame being very aggressive. They're not at all worried about getting hit. I guess they figured that they'll be shielded up as need be. Good bulwark coming in from Rain. Wow, once again, Red Team holding the center. Very, very defensive, but keeping that center. Never taking their eye off the center. At the same time, though, it looks like Blue Team is the one focusing more on the side orbs. The center isn't as important if you don't go for the side orbs. And that's where it becomes relevant. And a nice ultimate there. Good dash out of there. Rain just barely dashed out of Inflames ultimate. Rain still taking a lot of damage. Ultimate coming in at the end, but really Paloma not being focused down on. Varish is kind of being focused down on, but the thing is Paloma's the one that's healing everything. And of course, Paloma Spirit Link means that she's healing herself at the same time. So Inflamed is really the one doing the most damage. I probably should be showing the health here. Yeah, Inflamed finally taking quite a bit of damage, but it looks like Rain down. Rain has gone down, and Apes... Okay, there's the ultimate. I was wondering when that was going to happen. No real damage, though. Bit of healing for herself, but really not a whole lot. And that is round one. Red team solidly in that center. Never leaving it to, to the blue team at all. Despite the fact that blue team has taken them, some of the side orbs, it was just red team was together, healing up, shielding up. Well, she not really shielding up all that often. Big Z was more just escaping. That was primarily what they were doing. So now at this point, we're on to round two. And once again, red team going hard for the center. Blue team, I mean, it's a bit hard. I'm a bit surprised that rain isn't going as far for the center. They probably are afraid a little bit of, well, combination of the Palomas, everything. And more so the Wuju, but really, Wuju's gonna come up at any point. And there we go, getting Paloma out of the center. Deadly injection on there, but that's not going to do a whole lot of damage. Once again, more and more healing coming from Paloma. It's really kind of hard to know what to focus on, because of course if you focus on Paloma, then Paloma just ends up healing everybody, because she heals her teammate, and then she heals herself. And if you focus on the teammate, then the teammate is healing up. Paloma's doing her thing. Paloma's continuing to heal and just generally mess with you. I mean, at this point, apes just dealing with damage they can, just constantly harassing in there, kind of nicely. Wuju avoided. Well done, Rain gets out of there. Gets the incapacitate, but doesn't really manage to profit on it too much. Paloma was still basically in the match. Although at this point, Blue Team, with all the energy, they both have ultimates, but they can synchronize them properly. I mean, crippling goo with a stun that you get off of the charge, the charge that Bako has, their ultimate. That comes together, but it looks like that charge was all that already used, actually. And no, looks like Apes going entirely for EX moves. Going for the Deadly Injections, and... Man, this is quite the battle of attrition here. I mean, of course it would be when you have two supports it is, but especially when you have a Paloma. Paloma and, of course, the Lucy is doing her part as well to keep this kind of a battle of attrition, but nowhere near as much. The thing is, Paloma, because it's her M1, that's a lot more healing than basically anybody else. And Blue Team just barely staying alive. Nice barrier there. Nice, it was very clutch, but even then, this is all going to come down to clutch moves for blue team. That's all they have. And nice ultimate charge out of there. Looks like Baco should be able to get, or rather, Rain should be get, able to get rid of Big Z, but getting scared away by Paloma. I mean, it's just the amount of damage Paloma can deal is just not something that Rain's about to deal with. And Rain going for the center, 
taking that orb again for more energy. And it's just really now Paloma taking a bit of damage, but no real focus. Biggie Zed is almost fully healed up. Fit of Reflecting happening. Does have the corruption effect on them, but I mean, that small amount of damage difference isn't going to matter too much when you consider the health difference between them. Because corruption does reduce just damage dealt. And is Versh maybe going to go down? I mean, the thing is, those bulwarks are kind of coming up preemptively. Every single time, or most of the times they come out, they're not doing a huge amount of damage, which they need to. And now at this point, the ultimates are going to be almost impossible to use. If Rain uses their ultimate, they're committing suicide. Because they're going to charge... Oh, nice! Hit the ball instead. That's a good way to stop it. Instead of going for a wall. And Wuju coming in, which should basically bring Rain down. Yeah, Rain's down to the one-shot range. Abe's doing what they can, holding the center, making the center basically entirely a goo pile, but that wasn't enough. Forced out of their, forced out of their comfortable position to buy the Ancestral Spirit from Inflamed, and that basically does the match. Very long round, though. I mean, like I said, this is a fight of attrition. That's all this is. And it's all it's gonna be. Bit of a disappointment, I'm afraid, because, yeah, attrition. Everyone loves attrition! Everyone loves waiting, like, I don't know, three or four minutes for a two-minute match. Because everyone's healing and no one has a huge amount of burst damage. Actually, Varish has quite a lot of burst damage. I've not really noticed the burst damage setup. They haven't been throwing Judgments around a lot. They've been throwing Hand of Corruption a lot. But Judgment? I don't see much. Especially not... Okay, there's Judgment. Got panicked out. Nice Panic Blast against it. But yeah, one or two, hand, one or two Judgments here or there. No EXM2. Okay, there we go. Now we have Rain with both, but not getting hit by the burst from it. It looks like... I think Piggy Zed is just basically using Corruption for the reduced damage and healing. But they're not really worried about Judgment. They're not really worried about the burst damage gained from that. And Varish going down! I mean, sorry. Piggy Zed going down. I really wish it would show the player name when it said who died, not the hero name. Because it matters more that Piggy Zed went down than that Varish went down. And now Paloma is getting focused down. There's not much they can do. They have Ancestral Spirit, they're gonna throw that out there, and there it is, because that's what you do. Healing up at least, but way too focused down. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot they could do. There was some things they could do. An other side, they didn't have the other side battle right, did they? No, that's a fourth. That's round four battle right. So they're probably gonna go for that next round. Because other side healing and just damage, like other side healing damage is awesome. Having that up is pretty much, no, going for just increased healing from Spirit Link. Okay, more of the same. I have this bad feeling that the battle right I decided might be around 3 1, but I'm sure it was around 4 1. Anyway, blue team taking the center hard this time around, getting. Oh wow, Rain getting panicked away. I mean, that's the thing you want to be careful with Paloma in particular is that panic. Like, the panic counter is just. That just means you can't rush them down. And it's like once every at least 8 seconds or so. And another. Oh no, that's Panic Flask. No, never mind, that was not Panic Flask. That was Petrified Flask, though nicely done, opening up the center energy, just taking the energy ball for free. And that's how you use Petrify. Just let your opponents sit there while you deal with the rest of the board. Like, you just take the arena, do whatever you like, and that's how it works. And at this point, Rain is actually doing a nice amount of damage on Flame there. And taking the center ball once again. Blue team basically has this... And, oh, almost, Biggie Zed almost got that last bit, but it doesn't really matter. At this point, blue team's dealing not all that much damage, all things considered. Nice Wuju in there. And, once again, not really going for Shatter. Just notice that Biggie Zed just hasn't been shattering much. Does have the battle right that keeps Corruption and Judgment, well, recharging each other. That's the word I'm looking for. That's very good. That's very typical for Barish. You want that because you just want to have both effects. And Judgment takes so much longer to charge. Bit of an Ancestral Spirit miss for Inflame. Did heal themselves, though. That's pretty much all they managed to do. And now Red Team forced out of the center. Inflame forced into a corner, but nice panic there. That Spirit Rift is basically saving them. But now Panic Blast forcing Biggie Zed out. Forcing all of Red Team out. And Blue Team once again takes the center energy. Red Team trying to hold the North Health. I don't think it's going to work. Nope, it's not going to work. BZ still managing to stay alive. Nice shields there. I mean, really good shields. All the inhibitors guards coming in from Varish have, like, that was probably three or 400 damage. 300 damage that was protected. 
Only 45 from the Hitler's Scar? Huh. Most of it was from Corruption, apparently. Oh no, 131 from Inhibitor's Guard. That makes sense. Yeah, that's a lot of healing. Well, not healing, but avoided damage in the first place. Alright, and now to the last round. Both teams a little bit split of whether they want to go for the defensive or offensive options for their ultimates. And Rain going in very hard. Once again, no shatters. I feel like I'm missing something. I must be missing something about the power of shatter. Granted, rain could jump around quite a lot, which does kind of discourage the use of shatter. But at the same time, that's a lot of damage. I think really it is just a matter of use corruption to reduce damage dealt. Which has been helping. We saw in round one and two, just the blue team couldn't deal a whole lot of damage. At this point, though, corruption isn't coming up a whole lot. And seems to be reflected a lot more than not. And there we go. Both judgment and corruption on rain. And that is basically it. Well, it's doing a lot, though. Doing a lot of good, but red team has split up, and this is not good. I mean, I would grant that probably Paloma's going to have an easier time than Lucy fighting in a one-on-one, -on -one, but still. Red team having gotten together, now managing to get back. I mean, the thing is, Paloma does not want to be separated. Because her whole stick is linking things up. So, if you get separated, you're kind of hooped. At this point, though, Big Z being focused hard. Nice other side there. Nice healing. Nice inhibitor's guard. It's exactly what you need there. And Rain as well being the focus of all the barriers. And it looks like Red Team's going to lose their Varish first. Like, or rather, their main damage source first. Big Z could be the first to go down, but a lot of healing coming in. Neither of the damage dealers near max health. Actually, never mind. At this point, Rain is at max health. And Lucy getting focused hard. I think this is it. I think Big Z... No, another side. Another clutch other side. Paloma just getting focused down in the process because other side enemies cannot attack. And down goes Big Z. That took a while, but Blue Team managed to take them down. And now once again, Inflamed in a corner does manage to panic away their opponents, but not for long. Oh, nice. Was that, was that what I think it was? I think it was a Clarity Potion at the last second. Hang on, that, that happened a bit later, one second. Because it was right here... Ow, oh, I can't even tell. I'm trying to figure out, was that... Does that look like a clarity potion? Because they panic right... No, it's healing. What the heck? Okay, I'm confused. What? Cause that a clarity potion would make sense, like a clutch clarity potion right before it'd be too late. But I don't see that. Hmm. I'm not sure. That was that's really bizarre. Like between the two of them, that's the only thing that really gets you out of it. But anyway, that worked out for rain. Holy crap! I mean, that's really how you use the center. That's how you use petrify. That's Apparently how you use Corruption and Judgment, so Shatter, I'm guessing, is overrated. I, it might be the matchup, too. Like, that's the thing to bear in mind, is that the matchup... It is a matchup that doesn't really involve enemies that are going to stay put. So, yeah. That makes sense. But at the same time... That was a lot of damage on the table. And there were a lot of times that that status went away. That was all. It, the Corruption and Judgment were there, and then they went away. There was no Shatter or anything to take advantage of them. So I do feel like there was a lot of damage on the table. Corruption did apparently do a lot of good in keeping damage from being dealt, which is, of course, what Red Team wanted. But even then, it's still one of those things that I find mildly confusing. Paloma's play made a lot of sense, though. Inflames play is just, that's how you do Paloma. Lots of clutch other sides. That was amazing. Anyway, that is going to be it for me tonight, so I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching.